All right, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. The painting is mostly done here, so it's time for me to start squaring away where all the wiring is going, mounting all of that nice and neat and clean, and it will feel so good. So let's get right to it. Bones sinking like stones, all that we fought for. Bones, places we've grown. All right, well, we got the uh, plywood back up here. At least it looks really clean down below now. The wiring's tucked away pretty clean. Right now though, I have a really fun job of laying in the cedar on top of this plywood finally, which means a boatload of epoxy work, but uh, let's get to it. And uh, all things going well, should have a nice countertop by the end of today. Top is starting to come in, but I ran up against a little bit of an issue. Um, this is the first piece right here that goes the full length of the counter, and uh, I probably should have started like on this side of the counter and worked my way back just because these three segments didn't end up perfectly straight. And as a result, um, I had to twist this first piece a little bit and put some screws and some epoxy down on it. And I just don't feel like um, putting more screw holes into it and it's not really gonna hold totally straight if I take that clamp out right now. So I'm gonna let it sit for this evening. I've already coated so much stuff in paint and so much stuff in epoxy that I just kinda wanna take a break. So I'm gonna paint a little bit more primer down on the uh, mess side. Wow, look at that, eh? Jesus, I really gotta use up some of this wood. I am running out of space. <sighs> Oh well, it'll be really nice to get this counter um, done so I can start putting, you know, um, an actual galley up here and make it complete and put some lacquer on some cedar and oh, it's gonna look so good, I'm excited. All right, well, I'm gonna get back some painting. It's freaking reeks up here. It's gonna give me like nose issues again. Um, but I started doing some tinkering. You know, it's late at night. I like soldering late at night. There's just something mad sciencey see about it and it, uh, Especially if I can't sleep, I just wake up and I solder things. Um, and I'm starting out by doing some of these lights. Do want to give a huge thank you to you guys for uh, hitting up the wish list and buying all these little electronic gizmos that I'm using here on the boat. Um, that is all thanks to you guys. I just, uh, I get them here and I solder them up, usually wiring them direct 12 volt into the system with fuses and all that. But uh, what do you think of these little, little, uh, little space lights? I'm gonna put one in each one of these wooden areas over here. I think I'll tomorrow I'll hit it with some sandpaper and some varnish and it'll look really, really good. But first I gotta punch some holes for these lights. All right, now that we drill the holes, next thing we gotta do, insert the lights. Now they have these great little plugins and that'll work to tie each one of them together. As you can see, they kind of fit together and uh, well, there's supposed to be a nut on it. I don't know where it went. And they got these little nuts here and they just nice little watertight seal. However, on the other end of them, but it's meant to run on this transformer. That's 110. That won't do. So, it being 12 volt, let's wire ourselves some leads. All right. Oh, it feels cozy in here now, eh? Still have to punch the holes for two more of the pod lights up above. But uh, yeah, look at this. I will be sipping beers seated right here. A nice table for many years to come. Oh. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, if you notice the nice new jacket, which fits like a glove. Mike and I are heading over to uh, walk the horses. Where are you going? Oh. <laughs> Mike and I are heading over to walk the horses this morning. And I'm trying out my new jacket from Jack, who sent this thing up. This is an anorak jacket made here in Canada. It's all wool. It's incredibly warm and incredibly dry, even in the rainy weather of the West Coast. 
So thank you so much, Jack, and uh, let's go meet some horses. Hello, hello. This is about the opposite end of the spectrum of all the soldering I've been doing the last 24 hours. But uh, it's great therapy, great way to recenter yourself. The captain loves it too, don't you, Captain? Closer to a new countertop. A nice cold foggy day out there, but it's nice and warm in here. So we've coated the underside of this and uh, thickened epoxy, and I'm using stainless screws. Originally, I was going to make a nice, like, really fancy job of like screwing from underneath and sandwiching everything just right. But I find that when you're mixing with epoxy, you know, um, just kind of does most of the work for you. So the screws are really there just to keep it down and sandwiched to the plywood underneath nice and sturdy plus there's no screws going from the plywood into the bulkheads down below so the screws here are doing double duty they're going through both and my wood stove is doing triple duty and keeping me nice and warm cooking up some hot tea and burning off the scraps of this cedar that we milled up oh and yeah it's just uh hmm I won't say it smells like good cedar in here because it definitely still smells chemically, but you know, we're getting there. We're getting there. And as you can see, this sad old little fridge, well, she's not going to really look so great up here with all this nice wood. So uh, we've got a new addition to the boat and I'm going to introduce you right now. All right, check this out. It's, a, it's an AB1200X 126 can cooler. Um, but yeah, basically it's a glass fronted fridge. Cool thing about it though is very thick insulated glass up front, also covered in sawdust, but um, this is kind of like your, oh, I'm gonna have to unstick that now. Uh, but let's get this bad boy plugged in and I'll show you everything about it. All right, she's plugged in, she's running, clears most of the dust off of her. I've actually had this thing on the boat for a little while now and uh, haven't, I wanted to get this counter kind of done. It's not totally done, but ah, can't wait anymore. Um, this fridge is really, really sick. So New Air saw that I was building the solar electric off-grid tiny house kind of thing and they thought they'd send this out because a lot of you guys are interested in tiny houses, a lot of you guys are interested in the off-grid solutions. Now, um, one of the quickest ways for off-grid solutions and making them more energy efficient is going small. And this fridge is, well, as you've noticed, it's quite small. It's also big feature, a glass front. Now this is a really thick insulated glass front. It's about, this door is just over an inch and I think the window is exactly one inch thick. It's quite insulated, quite sturdy and this thing only burns 85 watts when the pump's actually going. So it's uh, quite a low energy use unit. 
Also, because it's glass front, you guys get to uh, get to see what's inside before you open the door, which is always handy. And uh, you guys can see my, you know, distinct lack of beer and overabundance of sausages, because some of you in the comment love to tease me about my sausages that I eat all the all the time. But yeah, one last feature on this guy, she's also got keys. Yeah, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. Can lock the door to my fridge. I don't know why, but hey, if you set like a, uh, a shop front or something like that, or you, you wanna keep a teenager out of there, there you go, you got keys. I am super stoked for this. Um, this light in here, of course, you can also turn off. Um, it's on a little dimmer. You guys will get to see plenty of this because it's gonna be a main staple here in the galley. And of course, I wanna make the galley a major part of the boat build. So big thank you to New Air for sending this guy out. Um, I'll conclude a link in the description. And with the addition of the most luxurious thing on the boat, I'm gonna to end today's episode, watch some more Lord of the Rings, maybe solder a few more things, pretend I'm a mad scientist, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Good night.